رباه عفوك إني للنور مدت يداي نزعت أسرار قلبي وجدت ألقي أسايا My brothers and sisters, whenever you are sad, whenever you are feeling anxious, whenever you don't know what's about to happen, whenever there is uncertainty in your life, whenever people are trying to harm you, one of the best ways of benefiting yourself is to pray two units of prayer and to prolong your sujood. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says at the end of Surah Al-Hijr to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَاعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ We know that it tightens your chest what they are saying. What were they saying? Well, the people of Quraysh, used to say nasty things to the Prophet ﷺ, false accusations, words of belittling. They tried to belittle, but they would never succeed because nobody can belittle the Messenger ﷺ. They mocked at, they scoffed at, and the only thing that happened was their own status was dropped. Never did that affect the status of Muhammad ﷺ. But, Allah says, it tightened your chest. We know it saddened you. The reason why it saddened him was he was desperately seeking their guidance. And he was so sad that they were not listening and that it was going to be affecting them negatively. So part of Nubuwa and prophethood is that the messenger, peace be upon him, was very concerned about the guidance of those whom he was calling out to the deen. And therefore, whenever they rejected or mocked or scoffed at, etc., he would be saddened. And the tightening of the chest refers to so many things. Allah says, we know that what they are saying tightens your chest, but we want to advise you. What did Allah advise him? Subhanallah. Allah says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ Declare the greatness of Allah. Glorify Allah. Declare the praise of Allah. Alhamd is referring to the praise. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ Declare the glorification and the praise of Allah, of your Rabb, the one who made you. Think about he who made you and he who is in control of every aspect of your living right now and every aspect of the living of all the creatures that he has made and think about he whom you are going to return to that is your Rabb. so allah says declare his praise glorify him and kum min as sajideen be from among those who are often engaged in prostration as sajideen those who prostrate so the prostration will help you overcome that hurt that sadness that anxiety, those negative feelings, what will help you? Prostration will help you, my brothers and sisters. Take your time. It's a gift of Allah. Go into that position and weep to Allah, cry to Allah, praise Allah, call out to Allah. Do whatever you would like to for the sake of Allah in that position, in terms of the words you're going to say and cry to Allah. Remember, we're taught how to prostrate. But we're also taught by the Prophet wasallam that we are allowed to call out to Allah in that position of prostration. So get into that position and call out to Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us acceptance. <laughs> وأشتكي طي صدري دربا سحيق العطايا به بدأت ولكن لم أدري ما منتهايا لم أدري يأسي فيه